Hello there one of those Sneet Singh also known as innovative coder and today we are going to discuss webflow versus react or how i code this as web design versus web development right so first of all the thing is that there are two things right which are just named which are web design and web development now the stuff is if you if you think about that web design is when you build some great ui right and then develop a static site now with webflow or wordpress or wix or squarespace all of these are static site generators what you can do is at maximum you can build a landing page an e-commerce website or some kind of a blogging website right this is the limitation with web development is when you build some application which has some kind of a backend for example a social media website or a video chatting application or maybe some sort of application where you have uh, where you do login then you uh, you know do some stuff then you post something or you you like something you have kind of customer interaction with web development you are able to generate some data and then show on your complete web app now not even dreams you can think about doing you can th- you can think about building a website like facebook or maybe twitter using these static site generators these wordpress webflow and all of these things okay so now this is clear that with webflow you can't build out websites which are dynamic websites now one question which most of you would be having is what about static stuff we do have static site builders inside coding right we do have things like gatsby we do have things like next what about them we can compare them with webflow or wordpress well all of these things have their pros and cons but i feel that the main distinction comes on two bases one is templates so with gatsby the best thing is that you get a tons and tons of templates open source templates you have blogging templates you have e-commerce templates you have food delivery templates right and with all these templates you can actually deploy them in just a matter of 30 seconds that's the best thing about these things yeah it's big next year right now something which i did with my coming soon page on my website uh, you can go on innovativelabs.co.in so there is a coming soon page so i just deployed it in a matter of 5 minutes and that's true but then the argument comes that even with the webflow or wordpress we get tons and tons of templates but the fact is that all these templates and plugins which come with wordpress or webflow or squarespace are not free they are not free but when you when you go into open source development everything's free to use right you must credit the author the next distinction is seo search engine optimization now with things like gatsby you get some really nice seo settings now there is a complete component known as seo.js uh, which sets out seo properties for your page so whether it be your blog whether it be your e-commerce store whether it be anything out there you always need an seo uh, management stuff with gatsby one can even use techniques like uh, code splitting which load the website much faster so you load your website in a multi-threaded manner which in turn reduces the loading time right but no such features are given in webflow webflow sites are heavy and often contains huge images huge videos and some high pixel quality stuff because of course they are developed by designers so it takes a lot of load time i think webflow has done a great job at reducing the learning curve for developers because now what web developers need to think about is learning react learning stuff like gatsby learning things which are actually higher which are actually a, a level above html and css right need to learn html and css in any case you would be using jsx and stuff but still if you 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 don't need to uh, get yourself stuck at html and css that stuff is actually been handled by webflow and all of these things so this actually a bifurcating line between web designers and web developers 
which is actually kind of shifting with the, these um, with these static site builders, uh, web webflow, web Wix, and all of these things. So this conversation actually came into picture when I was talking to my brother about uh, development versus design industry, and I also got uh, a lot of questions on Telegram group and on Instagram DMs. If you are not connected to me on Instagram, then you should connect. The link is given in the description. Do not forget to follow me, hit the like button, and subscribe the channel. That means a lot. Thank you.